Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we are going to study about the human skeleton and I'm going to show you the 3D structure of all the bones. So please be excited and we are going to see a lot of it. Okay. Now here in this figure, you can see the human skeleton. So how many bones are present in the human adult skeleton? That's right, 206 bones. Now you can see that it is divided into axial and appendicular. Now axial, which means consisting in the axis part, that is the main part. So there are 80 bones, which comprises of the skull vertebral column and the ribs. Appendicular, which comes from the word appendages, which means limbs, has 126 bones. So appendages or the appendicular bones are connected to the axial bones right? Why are different joints? So in this figure, you can see that the axial skeleton, how it is divided, it is divided into skull, which is 22 bones, cranial 8, facial 14, ribs 12 pairs, that is 24, sternum 1, vertebral column 26, hyoid bone 1, and ear ossicles 3 plus 3, malleus incus tapes, malleus incus tapes, right? So there are 6. Now, pendicular skeleton, you have 126. Limb, each of the limb has 30 and you have four limbs. So, 13 to 4, 120. And girdles have six. So, pelvic girdle, two. And pectoral girdle, two plus two. All of this we are going to see in the 3D structure. So, stay tuned for everything. Everything I'm going to discuss, this is just the NCRT figure. So, we have... Uh, this is just a mnemonic how you can remember it. English science fiction, please turn on. Do you like English fiction? If you don't like, uh, if you don't like English fiction, then you can tell the person to switch off. So in that case, it will become English science fiction, please turn off. And if you love it, then English science fiction, please turn on. Ethmoid, sphenoid, frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital. See, there are only two bones which are paired and rest all are unpaired. So we have eight. Okay. Wow, we have got a ghoomti hui khopdi. Okay, so in this figure also you can see. Okay, everything. Facial bones. Now in facial bones, how you can remember is my zoology, most lovely. Physics, chemistry, very nervous. So mandible, zygomatic, maxilla, lacrimal, palatine, inferior nasal, conca, vomer and nasal. See, in this category, only two bones are single, that is mandible and vomer, and rest all are paired. So usually the question comes like they will give you a set of, uh, they will give you a, a lot of bones in the options and then you have to select the pair, uh, which, uh, which, which one of them is paired, which of them uh, is unpaired. So like that you have to select. So here 14, you can remember like facial 14, facial 14. So this you can see Ghoom TV Mundi again, but this only represents the Ghoomo. Facial bones. Okay. Very good. Extremely proud of my facial bones. Ribs anatomy. I'm not going to show you all of this because already I'm going to show you the 3D skeleton. So wait for the 3D skeleton because it's going to come in just a moment. Wow. What a shape. Okay. Cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacrum, coccyx. C7, T12, L5, S5 fused, coccyx 4 fused. Okay. So thank you very much. So let's see. Let's begin with the 3D structure and each and every bone I'm going to show you in the 3D structure and I hope that will be pretty much clear. So let's bring it on. Hello everyone. So you can see the skeleton over here, right? So just move a little, let me move the skeleton a little bit. So you can see the dorsal side of the skeleton, right? And you can see the ventral side of the skeleton, the lateral side of the skeleton. Okay. So just give it this a 360 degree round. Okay. So we are going to study about the skeletal system today and we have already discussed about axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton a little bit, right? So the axial skeleton forms the axis of the body and they are total 80 bones, right? Which include skull, the vertebral column, ribs 
and what else? Sternum, obviously, because it's joining to the sternum. Ribs are joining to the sternum, right? So let's discuss first about the axial skeleton. And the appendicular skeleton, a word comes from appendages, right? So appendicular skeleton will be the hands, the legs, the shoulder girdle, and the hip girdle. So let's start with the axial skeleton first. Okay, so in the axial skeleton, number one is skull, which has 22 bones and it consists of cranial bones and facial bones. So cranial bones has eight bones and facial has 14. So let's see first the cranial bones, right? Okay, so let me write cranial bones over here. No, I'll not write cranial, I'll write skull. Okay, that's a beautiful skull we can see over here. Okay, so in the cranium, which is the head part, let's see the front bone. So as the name suggests, this is the frontal bone, which you can see from the side as well. So this is just one. And after that, here you can see parietal bone. So parietal bone are two in number, as you can see from this angle, one and two. Parietal bone left and parietal bone right, okay? And then near the ear, you can see temporal bone. So this word comes from tympanic cavity, which is present in the ear. So temporal bone, one on the right side, and one on the left side. So this is the temporal bone. After that, we have at the back occipital bone, which is on the back. So you must have heard sometimes when, uh, you know, accidents take place or if somebody is hit very hard uh, in, the, in the bottom area, then his or her eyesight goes bad. He's not able to see properly. So that's because the occipital area is responsible for the eyesight. That I'll teach you in the brain. Anyways, so let's see here. Okay, so these are the cranium bones. I already told you about the mnemonic, how you can remember the types of uh, cranial bones, right? Okay, let's just write here once again. Skull, as we know that we are discussing the skull part. Okay, now uh, if you want to locate the sphenoid bone, right? sphenoid so where is the sphenoid bone you can see from here okay now sphenoid bone what i'm going to do is i'm going to isolate the sphenoid bone so you can have a more clearer picture okay so see this is the sphenoid bone which looks like a butterfly it has a butterfly shaped sphenoid bone okay this and this sphenoid bone so sphenoid bone is the bone which connects with the all the cranial bones okay so it is present in a location in the inferior location as it it, it, it is good it is connected with all the skull uh, i mean all the bones of the skull okay so this is the sphenoid bone the butterfly shaped bone right okay let's go back and locate the ethmoid bone where is the ethmoid bone ah uh, see there the ethmoid bone is let me isolate the ethmoid bone for you so you can see this is such a small bone ethmoid bone is an okay so students remember that among all the cranial bones there are only two bones which are double in number or which are in pair which is your parietal bone and temporal bone right so these are the two bones which are two in number among the cranial bones but in the facial bones there are only two bones which are single in number right so let's see that which is the mandible okay and the um, vomer okay which is present here in inside the nose part Okay, so now that we have discussed about the cranial bones, right, we are going to discuss about the facial bones. Okay, one more thing about the cranial bones, if I see the occipital bone here and I have isolated the occipital bone. So as you can see, if I see this bone from, let's say this side, okay, so you can see two white parts over here. These two white parts are the condyles okay occipital condyles so as you can see here that in the human skull there are 
two so therefore this is known as a dicondylic skull right and then you can see a hole here right this is foramen so this hole from this hole the brain stem comes the all the, the spinal cord will run through from this particular hole and later on we see that among each vertebral column also there will be a hole from which the which the spinal cord will pass okay so this is the occipital bone okay one more fun fact is that as you can see this bone is pretty much flat in shape right it does not have a very um irregular shape so this is very, pretty much flat so the skull bones come in the flat bones category right like there will be irregular bone for example your vertebral column or each vertebra so that comes under the irregular category similarly we'll have long bones short bones okay that we'll discuss later okay so now that we have discussed about the cranial bones let's discuss about the facial bones okay face what are bones do you have in your face right so firstly you have this this is the jaw bone by which you talk or chew right when you are moving so this is the only bone which is mandible mandible is the only bone which moves amongst the, all your skull bones right so let's see mandible location over here so this is the mandible okay jaw bone so when you're talking or when you're chewing it goes like ga 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 okay <laughs> so you can see wow what a beautiful mandel mandible oh my god you can see the sockets over here in the mandible in which your teeth are nicely placed okay so let's go back okay and then over here you can see on the upper lip part one and two maxilla so you have one maxilla and another maxilla so you have two maxilla and one mandible how you can remember is this uh, there are actually many ways um, one of the ways uh, by which you can remember is maxilla maximum so out of maxilla and mandible the bone which is maximum in number as in two in number that will be maxilla okay maxilla maximum okay another way how you can remember is uh, mandible right so man like which feature do you look into a man first right like the jaw bone if you feel the jaw bone is very nice cut and everything right so mandible like that like jaw gives a nice feature to your face isn't it so mandible jaw bone single yeah single man with a single mandible if that makes sense <laughs> okay anyways so there are two maxilla single mandible okay let's go to here that is where you apply the blush so this area that is your cheekbone that is zygomatic okay so one zygomatic and another zygomatic obviously because you have two cheeks and then let's go a little bit on the nose area okay so this part is a nasal bone so as i have specs on so this specs is supported by my nasal bone my two nasal bone cute cute this is not nasal bone this is nasal cartilage okay which type of cartilage elastic cartilage three types of cartilage remember hyaline elastic and fibrous this is hyaline sorry elastic <laughs> and this is also elastic okay nasal bone left and right so we have started nasal bone single bone inside of the nose that is vomer okay so let's see from the right now this is so small let me just isolate it for you so okay as you can see this is such a oh wow that's some sharp nose yeah so okay so you can see this amazing amazing vomer okay let's go back and then um okay now to visualize the bones which are inside because there are a lot of bones which are inside like inferior nasal concha uh, lacrimal bone okay a palatine so to visualize them what we will do is we will remove the maxilla i'll remove the maxilla so that you can uh, see the bones which are inside okay okay let me just remove the maxilla uh, okay bye bye maxilla hide oh my god okay so i've removed uh, let me remove the other maxilla as well so i've removed the other maxilla as well which bone can i see 
vomer okay this side palatine bone okay so you can see the palatine bone from both the sides one and two this is the palatine bone and this word comes from palate like upper palate this oh my god just see what i'm doing okay palatine bone okay should not put my fingers into my mouth like that i just touched my dog okay palatine bone right one and two palatine bone let me isolate it mm doesn't look very nice to me okay palatine bone then comes the okay let me remove the nasal bone as well no no not isolate i want to remove it let me hide it yeah okay now ethmoid okay that no 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 ethmoid was there uh, in the cranial bone section where is lacrimal bone it will be near the eye somewhere uh sphenoid let me just ethmoid let me hide it oh see this inferior nasal conca inferior nasal conca you can visualize it from both the side from left as well as from right this is inferior nasal conca okay so inferior because it is present inferior and conca as in uh, shell shaped okay uh lacrimal i found lacrimal bone these are so small it's very hard to click them okay so this is the lacrimal bone now you must have heard about lacrimal glands right like people who cry a lot we say your lacrimal glands are secreting way too much that <laughs> because lacrimal gl glands produce tears right and this is the bone near to the lacrimal gland so this is lacrimal bone okay it's just tiny tiny chote se hai see let's go back okay so did we leave any bone let me uh, see my zoology most lovely okay mandible zygomatic maxilla lacrimal physics chemistry very nervous palatine conca uh, vomer and nasal yes we have done it all so we have completed all the facial bones right excellent excellent so these are the teeth okay i'm not going to teach you about teeth in this section because we have already started about in digestion and absorption okay so yeah the skull is pretty much done now let me refresh it okay now the skull is happy cuz it's got everything back ting 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 the hyoid bone okay so as you can see the hyoid bone is pretty much in the air it is not connected to anything it is the only bone which is not directly connected with any other bone okay hyoid bone then how it is floating in the air that's because it will be attached with the muscles and the ligaments and this is the part from where your tongue will be attached okay so this is the hyoid bone let's isolate it so this is the u shaped bone okay between the mandible and the larynx so this is the hyoid bone 